Hi everyone, and welcome to the third tutorial video of the Matchbox Restoration channel. This time I'll talk you through one of the methods I use to refurbish scratched window units. For this example I'm going to use a broken window unit from a 56B Fiat 1500. As you can see it's all scratched up and has paint and pen marks all over. There is also a tiny crack in the middle. We can't really do anything about that, but let's see how far we get trying to get this window unit in better shape. The main tool I'll be using is a set of micro mesh soft pads. I'll put a link of them in the description below. These come in different grid sizes, so you can start with a rough sand and continue with higher value grid sizes to get a final result. I first start with the 1500 grid size to get rid of the deep scratches, paint and pen marks. Before I start sanding, I submerge both the window unit and the micro mesh pad in water to smoothen the sanding process. I'll be doing this for all the steps that follow. Avoid making the same sanding movement for a long time, as this will create deeper scratches. Also make sure to adjust your pressure on the corners of the window unit. The less surface you are sanding, the more pressure goes to that small surface you're working on. If you happen to sand it a painted model in between layers before, you probably found this out the hard way already. I know I did. After the 1500 size, I move on to the 2400, 4000, 6000 and eventually the 12000 grid size. For the end result, I use some metal cleaner to polish the window unit until it gets its shine back. It's possible you already have a nice and shiny result after the 12000 grid size micro mesh pad, but I have good results with this metal cleaner. I simply apply the cleaner with a cotton bud and clean the window unit with circular motions until it shines like new again. Don't use a Dremel tool for this, as the friction of the tool may cause too much heat, which will melt the window unit. Let's see the difference. This is the condition of the window unit we started with. And here it is after we treated it. And that's it. I do want to add that you can apply a layer of floor polish onto the window unit to give it that extra shine. You do have to let it dry overnight under a cup so no dust is collected during the drying process. Let me know if you found this tutorial useful and if you like other methods I use explained in a bit more detail. Please click the subscribe button to get notified when I'm uploading a new video. Also keep your eye out on the community tab of my channel where I'll let you know what I'm working on. And as always, thank you for watching.